So I haven't done a vlog in a minute and um, well you guys have been following me on other social channels of course but today I'm going to meet up with a client for um, a local client here in South Bend, Indiana. They are a engineering success architectural firm and uh, we are going to do some voiceover work for a promo video we're creating for them. So I might as well just kind of show you behind the scenes of that today. There's some other exciting things happening this week. Um, I bought a new camera and I'll show you that tomorrow because it gets here tomorrow. So yeah, let's do it. I just got done with that. That was great. I'm um, looking really forward to working with this company. <laughs> now it's time to get something to eat. Gotta go to the grocery store, get the baby some food, and finish planning the shots. Let's go. Wrong oh, side. Getting back to today's task. So I'm expecting a few new things. I got a new camera. I'll show you guys in a bit what that looks like. I'm getting the A7S III again because I need to finish up this lesson for a moment. And then I'm actually getting the Sony A1, which is pretty cool. It's be coming tomorrow. So it's a lot to do in this office is a mess. So I'm going to clean up, get ready for this new stuff to come in. And I just got to get organized for the day. <laughs> So this is my second time getting the A7S III. The first time I had it for a few days, but I, I didn't have a chance to create the lesson. But now I re-rented it. Use this for a few days and get this lesson out. Whew. Lens rental, you are clutch. Don't forget, I have a discount code. You can use that in the description. 15% off. Man, I do like this body though, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm still getting used to using these bodies. Um, I, I do, I'm not a huge fan of like a DSLR style, but these things pack a ton of power, especially the A7S III. So I got this, the 20, yeah. Almost looks exactly like the 35, but yeah, this is the 24. And <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh when you see this. Of course I got my trusty well not mine but the slr magic uh e-mount version for these micro primes and i got this because i'm going to be talking about the different lenses cine lenses versus like the autofocus lenses so got this and i'm gonna do some tests if it has some time cool so i'm actually just pop a battery in here because i'm gonna actually switch cameras so i can see myself i've been filming on my iphone this whole time all right i'm very excited for this next Unboxing, unboxing. Uh, so as you guys know, I am a Z-Cam operator, shooter, however you want to call it. And it was time to purchase another one because I need two cameras. This, it, it just makes life a lot easier. So what I opted to buy is the full frame f6 this is something i've been anticipating for a long long sorry a long long time i'm not good at unboxing guys yeah 
because um, I have full frame glass. I have the 25 APL Micro Prime and the 50. With full frame lenses and you're using it on APS-C sensors, um, you're always gonna be cropping in what only the sensor can see. So when you have full frame glass, you're missing out on a lot of different unique characteristics um, because that image circle is larger and your smaller sensor can't capture what the lens is actually trying to see. So full frame, uh, sensor full frame glass you'll see better not not better but more characteristics from that glass that you own so that's one reason two um i need another camera just for production value um, ease of use and especially when matching different cameras so having so i tried to match my uh, fs7 at the time with my zcam s6 it was a little tricky so having the same system is just easier for matching when you're using two camera systems um, and just the flexibility i can strip down my this guy back here the S6, um, keep that on the own end, keep it on just like a smaller body, and I can just rig this up with all the necessary tools that it needs and be just be good, be done. So I need to make a unboxing video for Instagram. Give me a second. Yeah, that took <laughs> quite a bit of time. Sorry about that. All right, so I got the F6 hooked up so I can just kind of switch between the two. This is the obviously the A7S III, both full frame. Um, I'm in 4K, 42 ProRes. Yeah, uh, this might look a little bit different. Um, I'm just using the Rec. 709 profile. This is gonna look a lot brighter. I don't even know what profile this camera is on right now. So uh, it's not really a fair comparison. I'm just, wanna, I'm just showing you what this looks like. I have a cine lens. This is a photo lens. There's gonna be some characteristics um, and there's differences as well. Well, I'll be still using the S6 um, and he, he bought the S6 and I thought I was excited to see you rocking it as well. Yeah, so obviously the S6 is still right here. I'm gonna be using both cameras. Um, it's mainly for my production. I need a two camera setup, especially with the current jobs I'm getting um, recently. So having a full frame option and a Super 35 option is fantastic. Uh, this is gonna, I'm actually gonna strip all this down and this is gonna just be the brains and a few other like NATO rails and stuff on it, but it's gonna live to be versatile in like um, the gimbal setup. So I can just quickly have it on, have it ready and ready to go. Cause I have a smaller lens system with the micro primes. And the F6 is gonna be the fully rigged out. Um, I'm gonna use my PL lenses and my EF lenses on here anyway, so I can't really use the micro for third lenses like I can the S6. So there's a purpose for both cameras. I'm interested to have your thought and comparison with the versatility of the S6 with the micro for third mount and a speed booster. Yeah, I've seen some people put that on. So I've used the speed booster for my Blackmagic Pocket 4K, and that was the Ultra 0.64, I believe. And it was cool to get that uh, field of view, which is closer to a full frame look. Uh, the downside is that whenever you add a um, another piece of glass in between your sensor and using another lens, of course, um, you could introduce some other characteristics that are undesirable. And that's why I found for my Blackmagic system, I was getting these interesting red orbs and flares that just didn't look pleasing. And it would always be sitting in the middle of the lens, uh, in, the, in the image. So that's because of the metal bones and the extra glass and whatnot. So I kind of just moved away from using any type of speed boosters um, for any type of cameras. I'd rather have a native glass directed to camera. So I do have the locking mic for their mount and I use um, SLR Magic Micro Primes, which, is, uh, which can cover the Super, Super 35 sensor. So it gives me a lot of flexibility with that system, keeping it small. So I don't plan to use anything for a speed booster for this. Um, and this will be my B camera now. My A camera is going to be the F6, um, kind of like what I was saying before. So those are the questions I want to touch on and um, kind of looking back and forth here. So anyway, I'm rambling. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Uh, stay safe and bye.